Welcome to another DCS tutorial for the Harrier and this time we're going to be looking at offset waypoints and how to create them both in cockpit and also via the mission editor. Now I think several modules can use offsets but I think only the Harrier is able to create them in the mission editor and it's a feature that barely anyone seems aware of. But before we set one up, you might want to know what they're actually used for. And the short answer is typically a navigation position which might not be part of a normal flight plan. So for example, you might have an IP as a waypoint and an offset from that position to a target. And that target location might not be known at the time of takeoff. Or maybe you have a target and during the mission you define an IP for the bombing run. You might also have an offset for search and rescue where you fly the waypoints but the offset defines a search area which you don't actually fly to. Or maybe an offset for a tanker which you may or may not need. So with that let's jump into the cockpit and demonstrate how to set one of these up. Here we are and we're on an on-call CAS mission. And we're going to be orbiting waypoint three and waiting instructions. As you can see, the weather here is pretty appalling. So trying to find any targets here is going to be very tricky unless we know exactly where to look. If we have JTAC, they can send us precise coordinates directly via data link. But that's not always the case. You might get info such as five miles east of a certain town or a landmark, for example. We're just at waypoint three, so let's start a gentle orbit. Okay, a call's coming, and it seems that enemy artillery has been spotted eight miles from IP Foxtrot on a burn of 290. Looking on our knee board, we can see that IP Foxtrot is at waypoint four. So let's select that and head in that direction. Normally, of course, we'd stay in the orbit now, but just for this video, we're going to start our approach now. So we don't have to sit and wait whilst I actually do the ingress. Just under 10 miles from waypoint four. We can see something hot over there, so let's take a quick look. That looks like incoming artillery, and it looks like one of our vehicles has been destroyed already. So we better get over there and give them some support. To create the offset, press data on the map, which is OSB2, and then ODU option one, to switch from waypoint to offset mode. Then select bearing and enter 290, enter. And then the range, which was eight miles. A dotted circle has now been created on the map showing the offset. And if we come out of data mode, the offset is showing there as well. The HUD is showing that we're heading to waypoint four still but if we press WO slash S, which is OSB 14, then that will switch to our offset. And that's it, nice and straightforward. And if we bring up our knee board, you can see that it's actually been entered there as well. We can now designate that position if we wish, and our T-Pod will slew to that location and hopefully we can find our target. If you want, you can now skip to part two, which shows how to set them up in the editor, or you can watch the rest of this short attack run. Okay, that's the hot barrel from an artillery piece that's been fired. And it's only a couple of hundred meters from where the offset was created, uh, which isn't too bad. Uh, let's just mark that as a target of opportunity. So we've got it fixed in the computer. 
Looks like there's five artillery pieces which are firing and possibly some support vehicles. So we'll try and take all of the artillery area in a single pass. I'm heading east a little bit to align myself with the targets and I'm going to use CCIP as I don't have time to calculate the bomb dispersal for CCRP. And so a manual release is going to be quicker and easier. We're picking up some targets on the HUD floor. Now they aren't our primary target, but could be a threat. So we need to keep our eyes on them and maybe pop flares a little bit early. We're nicely lined up now. Um, let's not focus too much on the target. We need to keep our eyes peeled for other threats. Such as this AAA coming in and bombs away. And shack. Oh, can you see the sand trail over there? It looks like that pre-flaring did its job. Kept us safe. And there you go, another successful attack using offset waypoints. We can also set up offsets in the editor. Now, several aircraft have waypoint properties, but I think only the Harrier lets you create offsets here. In this mission, we have a down pilot, so we've set up a route which keeps us within friendly territory. And waypoint three is where we're going to commence our search operation. And from there, we'll define an offset from that position, which is the search area where the pilot was last spotted. So if we take a look at the waypoint properties, we need to set two fields, which are OS bearing and OS range. And these are case sensitive. The bearing is based on true north and the range has a maximum of 55 nautical miles, which is different to the cockpit limits. The third entry is waypoint type and that is optional. Here we've set it to SAR or search and rescue. We also have a tanker which is on station and is orbiting around 15 miles due east of waypoint 4. So we're going to set that up in exactly the same way but instead of having SAR as a waypoint type we're going to use AAR as it's for air to air refueling. There are three other types which we could use, which are target, IP, or initial point, and finally PRK, which is for parking, which is a zone where a pilot would remain whilst awaiting orders, for example, a CAS mission. So let's quickly jump into the cockpit. Okay, and if we bring up our knee board, we can see that we have the relevant waypoints and the two offsets which we've just defined. That's all for this tutorial, so thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed it, please do hit like and subscribe. But for now, I want to test out something far, far more manoeuvrable than the Harrier.